Well, we walked up to this abandoned farmstead, not near Brian's property, and thought we'd see if we could find some snakes in the in the rubble. And sure enough, there's the the wished-for corrugated tin. <laughs> And corrugated tin ever since I was a kid. That means snakes. So turned over part of that tin and there were two western terrestrial garter snakes underneath. Subspecies wandering garter snake, Thamnophus elegans vagrans. And uh, so this is the one that we actually caught. And actually pretty dull colored garter snake. <laughs> Not the most attractive garter snake that you could hope to find, but Still nice to nice to see. Yep. All right, so we're going to release this one. We have another one back at the house that we caught down by the by the creek in town. So we'll let it go back to its home area. Watch it slither away. Have brought those rubber boots. <laughs> Got it. I think you should turn around.
this abandoned farmstead and it's really just all in ruins. <clears throat> we thought it'd be a lot drier up here. We thought we might find a rubber boa in the debris, but it's far too wet for that. We found some garter snakes. It is a beautiful place though, all the same. This shack back here is full of um, bales of wool that somebody just never <laughs> never got to market. It's a tremendous amount of wool in there. You could clothe an entire platoon. <laughs> you, could, you could clothe India in the wool that's in there. <laughs> and uh, it's all just full of bushy-tailed wood rats now. And there's a beautiful view out there for the sunshine. Oh, there we go. 